Yeah. Wang. For Schlong. Penis. You're living the source. For penises, you can plug one in and it just spit them out. Don't swallow. <laughs> Hi Mayans and welcome back to my channel. If you're part of that 80% who are watching and haven't subscribed yet, subscribe! And don't forget to hit the little notification bell down below because then you'll be notified when I upload new content. And as always, all my social media links are down below in the info. Today I have a very, very special guest. One of my oldest friends. She'll be here in a minute. But for now, we have Don Ennis! Hello dear. Don literally just landed on a jet plane. On a jet plane. My goodness must be next. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing right now. I am the managing editor of Outsports. Mixing I it up with Martina Navratilova. I do indeed have tangles with her. I am uh, also a host of a talk show called Rise Up with Dawn Ennis in response to the 2016 election. And I also have a podcast with another trans woman called Before the War. It just feels like right now we're in that period where there could be a civil war. And I want to sort of capture that moment and maybe prevent it. Dawn, you were actually in the video that we did for the GLAAD Media Awards. And that's where I met Caitlyn Jenner. That was because of Dawn. Dawn has actually interviewed Caitlyn Jenner and all those important people. I'm the one who interviewed her when she said she wanted to be Ted Cruz's trans ambassador. Maya has the most phallic looking microphone I've ever seen in my life. I mean, wow, I thought you were lesbian. Which is actually a great segue for what the topic of this video is. One of the reasons I got divorced was because my ex had a fear that I would go through my transition and that after sticking by me for all that time, I would suddenly turn around and tell her, I am now strictly diggly. It does happen to a lot of trans women. Uh, and it happens in every combination you could possibly think Think of. Gay men all of a sudden are now gay women. I've heard of the opposite happening. Why that happens, nobody's quite sure. I have yet to hear like the definitive answer. Bryn Tannehill, who is sort of an expert on all things transgender, told me that for the most part, sexual orientation does not change. Most trans women and trans men, whatever sex they were attracted to before they transitioned, they remain attracted to that gender or right. gender orientation. I don't know if I really changed as much as I evolved or broke down my inhibitions. I remember mm. that I had this really effeminate friend and once he was leaving my house and I went to give him a kiss goodbye and he was like oh. and I was like what did I just do I didn't even know why I did it I'm not gay I'm not gay it was an interesting development when I finally realized that I'm attracted to guys and I can't even imagine what that must be like you know I'm gonna be totally honest I can't say that I haven't ever seen a guy and thought to myself wow hubba uh, hubba the first time I saw the commercials for Magnum PI I went <laughs> Oh, wow. And so I actually started watching Magnum P.I. And then what happened, I realized Higgins on the show. Now as a woman. And I started getting annoyed when the boys were on screen. <laughs> Bring back Higgins. <laughs> Remember Scott Bakula in Quantum Leap being uh, someone I really like? My liked? ex-wife loves Scott Bakula. Oh. I'm a big Star Trek fan. I love Janeway, but I'm not lesbian. But Riker was much more of my speed. I met William Shatner once, and I said to him, I heard your movie's not very good. And I can't believe I said that to his face. <laughs> I was right. I'm not gonna say your orientation changed. I think Bryn is not far off. My own therapist told me actually that I might find myself attracted to men and the mechanism that she thought was behind it was the fact that my attraction to women up to that point may have been the result of my desire to be one of them. I did have a lot of that. You know, I would look at a girl and I would have a crush on her and I also really wanted to be her. Very, very confusing. My therapist thought that once that desire went away, then perhaps my true sexual orientation would come to the fore. I have seen that happen with other people. It has not happened for me. I think like a lot of women, I think we experience attraction that's actually a little bit broad. That explains why I can be attracted sometimes to men in a certain way, but I don't want to take it past a certain point. When you think about like actually kissing them or having sex with them, Penis. then- Save some for me. Dawn was a pretty interesting case because I remember you telling me that you were attracted to women, that you were straight, and then we started talking some more and then I remember you having this epiphany moment where you like flash back to these scenes of like playing doctor and things like that. Every girl I ever dated always basically said, you know, I don't know, I just get this weird vibe like we're friends and good, really good friends. I, I just don't see us having a romantic relationship. And I think it's because the women I was dating weren't lesbians. <laughs> they they yeah. wanted a guy and I just didn't turn him on. And then I finally found the love of my life in freshman year and I became a Wendy sexual. Her name was Wendy. Wendy has since passed on. She was really the only woman I ever really loved. I never had a relationship with a guy. And then after I came out, I had this dream about a were, cock. And it was dreams. big and it was all uh, over me and it was something very exciting and scary. You had an before. erotic dream about it. An erotic dream. My wife and I had a conversation about mm. Chris Pine. She was stunned because she thought just like your wife, oh my god, she must be a lesbian. But it turns out they like dudes. I've dated a few. 
and I got my heart broken in March of last year because after a couple dates, a guy who didn't really care who I was and Googling me yeah. finally did do that after like the third date and broke up with me because he didn't want to date a trans woman. He was taking me out for my birthday and I was going to yeah. tell him. And Don, unfortunately, is kind of famously trans. So. See, the thing you don't want to do is you don't want to have your face on the front page of the New York Post. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good way to come out. I was the first journalist in television network news to come out as trans. All at lifeafterdawn.com. I'll put that in the info down below as well. I went to Southern, the club that Maya used to work yes. at. Girls and, and outfits. And I've got a dollar and I've got to put it in her bra. Yeah, go-go dancers. Maya says to me, Dawn, you're so straight, we can smell it on you. It's like you get, there's a different feel. And you were giving me the straight girl feel. You still give me the straight girl feel. I can't even imagine though what it must have been like for you when you came to the full realization that what you were attracted to was men. I went Cops. to an all boys school and yeah. I was surrounded by boys in puberty, yeah. but it was really hard because I had to suppress all these feelings about guys. I was the only boy with a Dorothy Hamill haircut. I was trying to be who I wanted to be, but it just wasn't allowed. I just followed the script instead. I followed the script that was written for me. Find a girl, have kids, live your life as the way it's supposed to be. We're both post-op. Confirmation has not yet come in a physical sense of terms of another partner, but it certainly has come in terms terms of self-love. That's the kind of love that I want to have. Uh, Let's get into a little nitty gritty though. You have not had sex with a man no. yet since your surgery, but have you ever been intimate with a man at all? I've made out with a man more than one. At a time? Wow. One at a time. Okay. I've used parts of my body to make someone happy. So you've taken a man to completion. A man and also someone who was male bodied, but not a man. Okay. What do you call it? Original equipment? Yeah, the factory equipment is what I call it. <laughs> I'll make a confession. I couldn't tell her why I was attracted to her. That's why. Partly it was because she still had her penis. How did that feel? You helped a man orgasm. I'm not that far removed from having one to right. not remember what it feels like. So to have that happen because of my actions was yeah. pretty darn cool. These are magic. I do feel sad for all the women out there who I won't be able to pleasure, but you know, you never know. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk about the first time you were with a guy and okay. all of a sudden you realize that this is going to go to that sexual place. Sure. It was a first in-person date. We made out before we went into the movies. So during the Star Wars Force Awakens, I was basically jerking him off. In the theater? Yeah. Wow. He took out his lightsaber. Twice I've got her now. Done. Wow, I, I, I'm just trying to imagine what it was like to be in that situation. I know what it's like to be with a woman for the first time after my transition, even yeah. before my own surgery. I know the nervousness involved there. Sure. If it had been a guy, I'm not exactly sure I would have reacted. Let me put it this way. There's a progression of events. Either they culminate and continue, or they stop, and right. we didn't stop. I felt it was consensual, and he wanted it, and I was willing to- Give it to him. I did, and there you go. I want people out there to understand sex is a positive. Thing. It shouldn't be something we snicker about or people who are trans shouldn't be able to enjoy. I assume now that you do want the experience of having sex with your new configuration. I want my vagina to hold a penis yeah. and to engage in intercourse. Is that clear enough? I, I yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We can agree on three things. Men are hairy, men are smelly. They seem to be a little self-centered, self-focused. But you still like them. Yeah, because yeah. I feel it within. It's something that I don't have words for. That pretty much wraps it all up, I think. Yeah. It's always good to wrap it up. Don't forget to wrap it up. Wrap it up. I'll take it. Parting thought you'd like to leave us on, Don. I have been blessed to know a certain person who I call my Jiminy Cricket. She has saved my life. She has been there for me in ports of storm. And she has also been a rock and a critic and a person who basically sets me straight and I couldn't be more happy than to be on her channel in this video Aww. talking about penises. That was a great moment right up to there. <laughs> but thank you Dawn, let me give you a hug. Oh, thank you. Uh, Dawn has also made a lot of things possible for me as well. It's part of our friendship. That we is help part each other. Of our friendship. That's right, we do. I should point out that Dawn is single, so if there's anybody out there, any young strapping man or even older strapping man, with me, you're sniffing up the wrong tree, but you know, with Dawn, the exact right tree. If you want to get in contact with Dawn, you know, put it in the comments below. Who knows? You might get lucky. I might pass it on to her. Will you screen them for I'll me? screen them. If you've also experienced your sexual orientation changing or, or somehow evolving. evolving, clarifying, however you want to put it, also put that in the comments below. I want to hear about your story. All my socials are down below. And if you have a dime to spare, please consider giving to my Patreon and supporting what I do. And we need more videos from Maya. On that note, please hit the thumbs up to like my channel, share my videos, and please subscribe. And see you around the interwebs.